Hi guys, John here at Strong Oak. Um, just been given a nice commission order to paint some Australians up for one of my customers. Um, he sent the figures through to me, so I thought I'd just do a review of what he sent me. Uh, first off, we've got these uh, Australian Jungle Division imagery section. And uh, we're going to open the box up and see what's inside. Okay, that's all that's all the stuff there. All right, here's the figures. Just get the bases moved over. Okay, they're all metal. Um, they've all got the uh, hats on and helmets on, so there's no uh, head variation. Um, so yeah, nice looking figures. Let's have a look at this one. So what we got here is carrying the um, submachine gun. I'm not sure what submachine gun this is. I need to look that up. Um, but uh, it's one that the Australians used. I'm not quite sure what he's got in his hand here. It could be an ammo pouch or ammo he's putting into it. I'm not sure. Uh, backpack. A few more bits and pieces. So, yeah, I think he's the... Um, actually, that's probably for um, a Bren. I think he is the um, loader, he uses a loader, because that's, I believe, is the uh, spare parts for a bring gun inside this bag here. Um, so let's just grab the bring gun as well. So there's the bring gun chap. A little bit of flash on the models. A little bit of work to be done on them. But other than that, they look uh, nice and crisp. Nice facial features, should paint up nice. Take the washes. So that's the brain gunner. So what else have we got? So we, I think that's the team for the brain gun. So we've got rifle, rifle, submachine gun, submachine gun, submachine gun, uh, rifle, rifle, and submachine gun. Looks like we've got four submachine guns and four riflemen. Um, so here's another rifleman. Straightforward again, standard uh, British equipment. Uh, that's what the Australians had. Um, the uniform is in like a green colour with the car key for the um, equipment. So that should uh, paint up very nicely. So that's uh, another chap like advancing. Um, we've got another chap here who's sort of advancing with his rifle. Moving through the jungle, again, same equipment, very nice. Another one, I'm just wondering because, it's not, I don't know if it's me, but the figures seem to be different sizes. He seems quite tall compared to some of the others. I oh, know they are the same, it must be the pose. But something about them, they just don't, they seem... They seem bigger, taller to me. There's a rifleman. Again, same equipment. And then we have a kneeling down rifleman. Again, basically it's exactly the same, but kneeling down with a rifle. Um, what have we got? Here we have one with the uh, submachine gun. Again, nice pose, same equipment. Very nice. Kneeling down with SMG. Yep. Very nice indeed. So I mainly just show. Oh, that was that's just busted off. So. I'll have to fix that. Um, mainly just showing the um, the figures to you so you can see what they look like. 
Uh, I mean, they're all basically all wearing the same equipment and a couple of weapon varieties. And um, repair needed on that one, so let's just put that to one side. That must have been slightly bent or snapped before it came out. Then we've got this chap here who I presume would probably be the officer because he's carrying, the, he's got the uh, like machete in his hand here with a SMG. Again, he just seems very big to me. Let me just, bring it back in a second, let me just grab a American. Okay, so I've just grabbed one of my Americans that I painted. Um, yeah. I know he's leaning slightly forward this one, but they do seem pretty tall. Because by the time you actually put that, because they cut this metal base as well, by the time you put that on a base, you know, they are quite taller in my mind. Um, And I mean, the Japanese that come, they're quite small. So when you put this up against the Japanese infantrymen, they are going to be quite a difference in size. It's not a problem when you're playing the games, but they do just seem to me to be a tad bit too tall. Unless all Australians are just tall. So anyhow, yeah, it's just, just a personal thing, that. So there you go, it. there's the, um, the uh, Australian Jungle Division. Imagery section. I've also got um, the commando box as well, which I will uh, open up and uh, we'll have a look at. So let me just uh, put them to one side and I will just grab the, the other box. Booze me at the moment. What do I do with it? Yeah, right, so. The other one I've got that he sent me is the Australian Independent Commando section. I've got two of these to do, and I've got two of the other one. So let's have a look and see what's inside this one. Okay, so those bases. They'll come out. There we are. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Alright, so... We've got Bren. Alright, so let's just quickly sort these out. There's a machine gun, a rifleman. Machine gun, some machine gun, some machine gun, some machine gun, rifleman, some machine gun, and another rifleman, and a brain gun. Okay, so what we got here? So here we have one of the riflemen. They got the berets on. Again, the rest of the equipment is um, sort of British equipment. So you've got like, the British ammo pouch here. There he is, that was one of the uh, riflemen. Um, another, uh, which one seems to have a radio? Yeah, it's got a radio here. So there's a rifleman with a radio. I'm not sure how the units work out, to be honest, in the uh, in the list. I've not had a chance to really look at that. I'm going to do that uh, once I've got all these primed up, ready for painting. Um, a sniper. Um, interesting. Sniper inside a unit. Okay. Let's see how that works. Um, we got uh, a beret again. The rest is normal British equipment. And then we got the, uh, the bring gunner. Again, just normal equipment. There's, I've noticed there's not a lot of equipment on these, really, compared to some figures. 
um, just your basics which is uh, quite nice that makes nice contrast to the uh, green uniform um, I'm not sure what colour uniforms these had um, let's have a look um, just get the box a quick look yeah it looks like they're wearing the same colour uniform okay so there we go, they have a fair bit of cleaning to be done on them. I'd say he's the loader again because he's got this uh, piece here which is the um, brain gun equipment holder. Okay, that's that one. Um, another one here. It's quite some, a lot of these weapons are bent. Which is a bit of a pain. Yeah, very nice. Fair bit of flash on them down here. Need all cleaning off. And another one. Yeah, nice again. They are very nice models. I've seen some painted. Um, I actually saw these uh, when I went to Warlord uh, Birthday Bash and uh, saw these painted. So I know I've had a look. So I know they should come should come out really nice. So here's another one with the SMG, and then there's another one here. And then last of all, we've got this chap here, he's uh, got his like, machete in the air, to make a nice officer figure. Yeah, she put out really, say, really nice. Very pleased with that. There's a close up of him. There he is. Nice facial features. Nicely cast, just needs some cleaning up. So that's it. There's a, a quick look at um, the uh, Australian um, Jungle Division inventory box. Let's just zoom back out. There we go. And the commando section. So that's them two there. That's a quick look at them. So there you go. Um, if you like the video, please give me uh, a thumbs up. And um, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel for more reviews in the future, please do so. And for now, take care all. Cheers.